따란! Okay, do you remember my video about the cheapest grinders I found on the internet? Yeah? So one of those um, cheap grinders was the cylindrical silver thing, right? The plastic one. The, the one that I hated the most. Well, um, a friend of mine reached out to me and she said that it was actually an imitation of an original old grinder, right? So this one right here is the Porlex. I don't know, I don't know what else is the name of this grinder, but uh, Tita April, the one who uh, lent us this grinder, she owns this, um, she said that it's Porlex, just Porlex, right? So way before, um, way before everything got crazy, um, this was one of the first grinders in the market. Right, it's, it's from Japan, right? Okay, um, I haven't played with it though. And looking at it, it really is the, it, it really, it really looks like the other. Oh, there it is. There is a writing under. Yeah, it says here, Porlex. So Porlex is the brand. Japan Porlex, ceramic grinder for outdoor use. Um, Japan Porlex and Company Limited. It's from Kayano Minoshi Osaka. There's even a phone number and the patent number under here. Wow, <laughs> that's crazy. Well, um, looking at it now, it really looks like the cheap plastic grinder. But this one, this one is very well, wow. This one is very well made. Yeah. It's made out of steel. Um, I'm guessing this is stainless steel because of the color. And it really, and it has a nice um, grind size adjustment under, and it even and it even clicks. Yeah, it clicks. So you get to you you, you get to set the size of the grind size that you want. Yeah, I want to check and deconstruct this part. Okay, it has a ceramic burr and plastic fittings. But the axle is stainless steel as well. And there is... Oh! And then you, re and, and you can remove this part. You can actually remove the outer burr. Wow, it has a bit of a play because there are only um, stoppers in here, plastic stoppers, to, uh, to stop this from spinning with the coffee. Yeah, but it is, I think, uh, I'm, I'm guessing it's a really nice, um, it's a really nice quality ceramic because you know you know that it is um, very well used, but it still has its edges. Wow, Japan really knows what they're doing, right? Oh, and another thing that I've noticed is the inner burr. When you push it flush here. It is actually bigger than the outer burr. So you you will not you're not gonna be able to really um, push it flush inside the outer burr because it's bigger. And I'm guessing this is the finest setting that you can go. 
So this grinder, um, I think this grinder can't do espresso um, grind size. But wow, this is very, very well made. Um, Tita April also mentioned that this grinder has been with her for a long time now. For a couple of years maybe, at least four years or more. I'm not really sure, but the quality of this thing is unbelievable. Yeah, and there is no threads on the catch cup. There is no threads on the hopper cover. They just sit flush. They, they just press fit. Do you hear that? There is a vacuum when you pull this out. <laughs> That's how flush the measurements are. Wow. That's crazy. Um, I want to try. I want to try grinding coffee with this. Let's try the finest, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm thinking seven, right? Okay, um, I'm not sure if you can still if you can still buy this on the market, but I'm guessing this is quite expensive. It will not be it will not be a competition level grinder or it, it will not be on par with the current grinders on the market, the steel burst, but it's a nice grinder to have for your collection. <laughs> Okay, so I just I just put a couple of beans there just for us to try and feel how the parallax feels when you use it. Mm. Wow, this this is it's actually a nice um, it's actually a nice grinding experience. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to try and look for this Porlex on the market if you can still buy it and if it's cheap enough. But yeah, it, this is another option for this is another option for you to look at if you if you don't want to invest yet in expensive grinders. Um, right now, we are looking at this: the Porlex and the Daiso Coffee Mill. So yeah, in the next videos, I'm gonna um, put this head to head with the Daiso Coffee Mill. And then we're gonna brew some coffee and then we'll see which one is better but for now thank you so much for watching in the next videos i'm gonna show you more about coffee bye